guys, this is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. In today's segment, we're talking about how to shop smartly or shopping hacks for when you're shopping in-store and online. Shopping in-store can be a very frustrating experience, especially if you're shopping for just one specific item and you can't find it. Nothing is worse. We've all been there feeling deflated, not knowing where to go or what to do. So the first thing that I always recommend is being open-minded when you're going shopping in store. So there might be designers that you typically like to wear or different cuts or silhouettes or specific brands that you like. But instead, think about being open-minded to trying on different textured pieces, different prints, different colors, and in particular, different silhouettes. A lot of items don't have what we call hanger appeal, so they may not look great in store. However, you can take those into your dressing room, kind of drape them or lay them on your body to really kind of get a better feel for whether or not you might like the item and always trying it on gives you a true impression of that. Once you have the items on, ideally it's great to ask the sales associate in the store to take a picture of you in the pieces that you're wearing. This allows you to really get a better vision or feel for how an item drapes or lays on you. For example, denim is key. You want to know how does it make your bottom look? Or if you're trying on pants, really what's the leg line? If you're bent over, you're not going to be able to tell. But you can also take a selfie picture and then really look at that to see what are all the different angles when you're wearing the piece. Does it look good from each different area? The next thing, and this is only for my shoppers that are really willing to take pieces back, but I recommend going in store and taking home everything that might catch your eye. The reason why you wanna do this is when you're trying items on at home, it's much better to try them in your true natural lighting versus a store's sort of fluorescent bright lights. It's better also to try the pieces on and intersperse them into your own wardrobe. So it might be a great top or cool sweater that you found. How would it look with your favorite pair of denim, for example? Or you may have a killer skirt and you really need that chill blazer to go with it. Whatever that may be, but really trying those pieces on together with your own boots or shoes, high heels, whatever it may be, really will allow you to wear an item and see how you could incorporate it into your own wardrobe. I really recommend this with handbags as well because seeing a piece in store, sometimes again, the lighting can be off, but when you take it home, it's great to try it on with different outfits where you would use the handbag. It also gives you a better feel of how are various ways that you can style that piece or use it day to day to get the most out of your items. And then of course, once you're done and you see here's the pieces you wanna keep, you can intersperse and put those into your closet and really get the best and most use out of them and then pack up all the items that did not work for you and you can do a return for when you shop again. So when you're shopping online, it can be so tempting. Click, yes, purchase, purchase. I want that and it looks great, it's on sale. Everyone does it. However, the smart thing to do is when first, when you're shopping on a site, whatever website it is that you're liking, is to put any item that might interest you in your shopping cart and hold off on the purchase button. The reason why you do this is, it's great to look at items for a while, to keep them in your cart, keep continuing shopping, and at the end, then go back and do an edit. Most stores allow you time to leave items in your cart without it being removed. If it's down to just a few left of the item, 
online sites usually alert you to that so you would know, oh, this is the last one or you're getting one of the last few and then you might wanna make an immediate purchase. But ideally, you're going back to look at all the items that interested you in your online shopping cart, and then you can edit down to truly the pieces that you really are interested in. But before you go through and purchase, ideally we recommend taking a night, sleeping on it, and then getting up to look at the shopping cart again in the morning. The reason why you do this is to see, did I think about the item at all? Was it something that keep running through my head? Oh, I could wear it to this event or that location or can't wait to have that in my closet to use. If you weren't thinking at all about the item, then it may not really be something that you truly need. And if it is, go ahead and click that purchase button. The next thing is that when you find an item that you really like and are interested in, I always do a quick Google search or as a stylist, we have search engine tools that we use to see where can you find the best price for the item. Nothing is more, for, more frustrating than when you go to purchase something, you've paid full price, you can't wait to have the item, and you'll see it on sale somewhere else. That leaves you feeling deflated, which you never want. You can also set alerts for an item that you're interested in and that will tell you when it goes on sale. So you can click that purchase button and keep those clothing, jewelry, or accessories in your closet. The next thing we recommend is when you're shopping online is it can be very frustrating and overwhelming to go on a website and you're saying, I just want a new top, for example or just want a new pair of jeans, and they might have thousands on a website to look at. So how can you make it easier? A lot of websites do what we call edits. And so those are areas where they've compiled merchandise that kind of suit different occasions. So for example, there may be a night in the town or a party edit. There might be a vacation edit for when you're traveling somewhere warm. There may be um, work edits for workwear or professional attire that you're looking for. All of those edits help you to really narrow down what you're looking for, where the stores online have compiled their top merchandise that fits in those categories to make it easier for you to shop. Way more efficient to look at a quick edit when you're traveling on vacation than shopping an entire store's website. We hope these style hacks for shopping smartly truly helped you. We'd love to hear about your shopping adventures in the comments below. So let us know what do you do to help shop more efficiently and smartly? Or what are ways that you shopped and you wanna share those with us? You can do that online using the hashtag divine style and show us as you're out shopping away, finding those key pieces to have in your closet. Don't forget to check out our style freebies that are below in the comment box and subscribe to Divine Style's YouTube channel to get the latest client makeovers, style series, and all our fashion videos in your feed. Thanks for watching and see you in the next segment.